it's springtime, and um, turkey season's rolling around. Spring gobbler. And um, some of you might be going out, some of you might not, but some people might be wondering if they should call the turkey in or just wait for it. Personally, I call them in. I think that's half the enjoyment of calling in the animal and hunting. But I use two different calls. I use a shaker gobbler and I use a diaphragm. The diaphragm I don't have with me right now, but I do have the shaker. The shaker call, it's a gobbling jake. That's what it's called. It's right here. And I bought it for 14 bucks at Walmart. Um, you can get all sorts of different gobbler calls. You can get um, I don't know what they are, but I didn't really look at them, but I bought the Goblin Jake. I think it's an overall good call. Um, for 15 bucks, you know, not bad. Um, I'm going to demonstrate with it in just a few seconds, but um, this call, it's got the bell right here, and it's got the shaker part, and it's got a little weight right here. And inside there you can see a reed. It's the whitish, clearish part. That's what, that's the reed. You can buy replacement reeds for these, which I think is pretty convenient. Um, and that, I don't know how much that costs, because mine never broke. But, um, yeah, you can buy a new replacement reed, probably around 10 bucks. Could be cheaper, could be more. Like I said, I don't know. And this, the bell, and the shaker part comes apart, so you can replace the reed and probably clean it out if you need to. I don't know why you would, but, you know, there are some people out there that get things dirtier than others. But, um, um, all right, I'm going to demonstrate it. You put your two fingers around it like that, and you put these fingers and wrap it around the bell, and you shake back and forth, right? That's how we do it. And that is a gobbler shaker.